Hey guys, uh, welcome to the second episode of Monday Musings. Uh, last week I talked to you about uh, planning ahead and making sure that at the beginning of the year you're thinking of the end of the year. Now, if you fail to plan, you have a plan to fail. Uh, that's an important thing to remember. What I want to talk to you about today is setting uh, smart goals. Setting goals is a very important part of planning but your goals need to be SMART. So S-M-A-R-T, SMART, let's remember that. So S is for specific. Sometimes we uh, set goals and those goals are very general. So if your goal is, for example, to eliminate hunger from the world, uh, that's a broad uh, goal, that's not a specific goal. Instead, if you set a goal of something like, I wanna donate five hours of my time to work at a food pantry, well, that's very specific. So set goals which are specific. Then M is uh, measurable. Again, there's no way of measuring how much uh, hunger you eliminated through whatever you were trying to achieve. But when you say, I wanna spend five hours working at a food pantry, well, that's very measurable. Okay, If you set yourselves a goal, I want to make sure that my GPA increases by uh, 0.3 points this year. That's a very measurable goal. You can measure it. Uh, next is A. So A stands for achievable. So don't set for yourselves a goal which you just cannot achieve. If I were to set a goal for myself, I want to run a mile under a minute, uh, that's a goal I just cannot achieve. So set for yourselves a goal which is achievable, which should just be beyond your current uh, standing. So if you can run a mile in four minutes today, maybe an achievable goal would be to run that same mile in uh, less than four minutes. So that's an achievable goal. So the next letter we have is R, and R stands for relevant. So set a goal which is relevant to your plan. So don't set a goal which does not impact your plan in any way. So if you are a student, a relevant goal could be that I want to make sure that I turn in all of my assignments on time. Okay, that's, that's a smart goal, that's a relevant goal. And the last thing we have is time oriented. So when you set your goals, make sure that you put a time limit on those goals. So for example, I wanna read five books in the next two months. So there's, there's this time limit of five uh, books read in two months. So it's not like I just wanna read five books and then you take uh, 25 years to read those five books. So limit your goals to a certain time frame. So let's go through our SMART goals. You want to set goals for yourselves this year which are SMART. Goals which are specific, goals which are measurable, goals which are achievable, goals which are relevant to your plan, and lastly goals which are uh, time oriented. And I'll repeat myself, if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. Good luck.